back to the channel. Today we got a new product for the golf cart sent to us by the folks over at Kenny Moto. You know we dealt with these guys before in the past. We put that most recently we did that Bluetooth speaker that went on the golf cart. That thing was amazing. Love that thing. It sounded great. Now we have this is the windshield. It's a tinted windshield from the front. Ours ain't terrible, but it's got some spidering and some couple spots and all this and that. So this is gonna be a nice fresh new unit. All we're gonna put on. It shouldn't be that hard to put on either. So what we're gonna do first is we have this cover on here. We're gonna take this uh, exterior cover off so we have full access to the windshield. Sorry for any traffic noise. We're not too far from the road over here. So we're gonna get this cover off. This should be a quick, easy change. There's no real fasteners that I believe it's all them rubber things, but let me get this uh, taken off first and then we'll uh, put this one on. about as far as we need to go for uh for what we're doing here as you can see on most of these golf carts they're all put into these clips you got the rubber or the base at the bottom where it sets into then you have these clips on the side which it slides into and also the rubber boots on the side which hold it there i believe the new one let's check it out the new one comes with all that rubber and everything so we have all new rubber that's not weathered <laughs> We got all new rubbers in here, right here. So we have all the fasteners, for it. all the fasteners for it. Something to the side here. We also have the instructions in here. We need some help with that. Let me set this make sure on. And all the uh, attachments, like on this one here, we don't have it down, but these parts right here that hold the windshield when you flip it down, they're all connected as well. But yeah, it comes with the full instructions, tells you where to put all these to get it mounted. So I'm going to get ready to do this and then we'll, I'll show you how to switch it all out. All right, next, the instructions will tell us if there's plastic film on both sides of your windshield. It tells you to remove those. I would recommend just pulling back the edges where you're going to mount the brackets so you don't scrape up the windshield while you're putting it in. So that's what we're going to do here. You can see Right here's all that plastic that's on here. We're just gonna pull it back from the edge and we're gonna mount the brackets. Now the brackets are gonna mount like this. I already went ahead of, ahead of time. You can see I have black marks on here with marker. That's where the brackets are gonna go. If you were doing it straight up, like according to the directions on a new, you know, wind, new windshield. Our cart happens to have brackets riveted on the bottom of the thing already. So we're gonna forego the ones on the bottom here and use our bottom brackets. But we will have to remove the rubber on the side which holds the windshield right here these are riveted in on ours but this one already has some attached to it already i could reuse these but these aren't as supple as they used to be so we're going to use the, the new ones because they feel nice so we'll be grinding these off to put these ones on and then we'll be sliding to our bottom bracket like i mentioned and probably not using the three brackets maybe i'll use one in the middle just for some more support but I definitely won't use the outside one so that's what I'm doing right now I'm just going to peel back the plastic all around the edge both sides like so and then like I showed it it wants the brackets on here like this and then you're going to do the other one over here You know, try to get them as even spaced apart as you can. Then we're going to flip this over, do the same thing on the other side, and then we'll probably put one here in the middle since we do have that bracket bracket on ours. And then, uh, like I mentioned, we got to grind these off the rivets, and then uh, we're about ready to slide it in there. So let me finish attaching these, then I'm going to grind these off, and then we'll be ready to go. Okay, we have our last rubber bracket here drilled off because, like I said, they were riveted on. Now pretty much all we've got to do is kind of lift up on this till it comes out of the bottom bracket. Like that. Then you can release it from the side. Like so. so we got the old one out. I have to say our older one, 
The older one is thicker and it feels heavier, so. I don't know if that's saying something or not, but uh, it definitely is a thicker windshield. But these are the brackets that just slipped on here. Like this, and then the windshield clipped in. So we got those off. Now for this one, like we said, we're not going to use, we're probably not going to use the bottom brackets because these are already riveted in. So that's a pretty nice deal for us. So we're just going to try to slide ours in. Down in like this, into the bracket. We just want to get it centered on over here. See, it's already setting in there. Make sure you get everything lined up that works for you. Now that one's mounted again. It's all set. Uh, like I said, we already have the brackets, but if not, the same way we put these side ones on is what you're going to do for the three on the bottom. You're just going to pull your plastic back, put the three on, and then you're set and ready to go. And pretty much that is your install because these here are going to grab on there. You just go around the frame like that, and you're all set. Fun part. Get one off the plastic. In the front and the back. That way you feel comfortable about it. It would have been easier to take that bottom one off before we put it in, but I don't want to mar mark it. The stuff marks so easy. So we got a little there at the bottom we can pull out once we uh, pull this out a little bit. There we go. We are all set. So that's the install for this. I mean, it's nice, and this one's tinted, and it has a, a nice pliable thing in the center. Like I said, these are easy to just pop up out of your way like this, off the, the frame, and pop it down. It'll go in the holders here, and you're all set. But that's a pretty simple install for one of these. Uh, they have rubber boots here, too, to stop the rattling. I used to have, I don't know where I said it, but on my other one, I had a foam like a foam pad I put on there to stop the rattle because it rattled in some spots but this one has the rubber there to stop that so that's nice but pretty simple install so if you guys are looking to have one of these if you need one for your golf cart the tinted I think they got clear too you can head on over we'll set a link down below to their website plus yeah I think you can get it on Amazon also if there's a link I'll leave it on there for you guys um, like I said we have used them before they sent us like that Bluetooth speaker pretty cool speaker we had them on the back of the cart you guys, if you haven't seen that video, we'll link that down below too. You guys can check that out. But with that being said, guys, thanks for watching. Try something new.